What's up, guys? It's Ray and Michael from AchievementHunter.com, back for hopefully the last time in Dead Rising 2 off the record. This is like the 900th report. Dead Rising 2 video, right? Uh, Give or take, like 400. Yeah, yeah. Both we need 50 more. 50 more. Well, 50 there'll probably more. be DLC that comes out like right after really? this, and Jeff will be like, you gotta do it, and I'm like, I'll do it. You should make so. a video about the DLC coming out, then do the DLC. Maybe I'll do that, like for every costume that gets released afterwards. Yeah. Eh, why not? But uh, the achievement we're going for is Cramped Quarters, requires you to get eight survivors into one vehicle. The first thing you want to do is go into Rag Mags, which is in the Royal Flush Casino thing on the second floor. You want to grab the magazine right there. It's for leadership. It will make your survivors more effective so they won't fucking die and you have to restart. Awesome. So grab that. That'll help. And uh, the first the survivors you want to go for are Lashandra and her boyfriend Gordon. They spawn like almost immediately. As you can see, I still have to find Zombrex. I haven't even done that yet. Oh, shit. So, yeah, she's a... Uh... She's kicking some ass there with a the fucking lead pipe. Yeah, it's a sweet dress, too. You, yeah, very sweet uh, evening gown there. Yellow one that my grandmother wears as well. She wears something very similar to that, but she's not black. <laughs> and uh, she's not named La LaShondra, your grandmother? Uh, I never said that, but oh. she's not black. But okay. um, And my grandfather's name is not Gordon. But um, yeah, you're going to find these two survivors right there. They're right next to each other. I do this uh, early on in the game. Like I think I get to like case like 1-2 or something. You can do this later on, but it's obviously easier easier here because there's less psychopaths and stuff to deal with. Obviously. Obviously. But after you grab uh, these two people, you're going to walk all the way over here to get Denise and the pharmacy, which is where you get your first piece of Zombrex or whatever. I'm going to do my funky walk there with the Proton, or the Proto Man thing. Yep. So there's Denise. I skipped a cutscene where you could kill the three, um, whatever they're called, muggers, thugs, or whatnot. Hooligans, actually. Hooligans, yeah. yeah. Riff Raff. So, um, <laughs> Riff Raff. I don't buy that. Um... Yeah, so that's uh, the first three. Then you're going to get a case called No One to Fold'em. This is in the Americana Casino. This is right after you do Case 1-1 when you eject yourself with Zombrex. You're going to run into, uh, I forgot what his name is, like Glenn or Cornelius, Lawrence, Phil. Bill, that's his name. I was close. Wow. He's Yeah, he's the guy that's uh, gambling over here. You have to give him uh, $2,500 or else he's not going to come with you. Which what an kind asshole. Of, yeah, what a fucking greedy asshole. So I'm going to try and jump over that barrier. It doesn't really work. I nudge it out of the way. Going to talk to him. He's going to be like, yeah, I want to play some slots, whatever. Give me some money and I'll follow you. So you give him $2,500. Well, bam, that is survivor number four as I need the bench for no apparent reason whatsoever. That is not an effective way to make it through like a zombie outbreak is to refuse to leave a slot machine. Well, he wants to be a zombie millionaire. So he's like, maybe if I, <laughs> kid, I mean, instead of breaking the slots and doing it illegitimately, he's like, no, somebody may be watching. I yeah, got to play. He's too play legit. Play for real, real. Yeah, too legit to quit. Hey, hey, uh, MC Hammer song guest, check it out. Anyway, nice. also, you want to kill, uh, this is similar similar to the last video we did where we're going to get Lenny. I remember Lenny. Yeah, I remember Lenny. You have to kill Ted and Snowflake, or save Snowflake, whatever. Clear out Yucatan Casino. He's going to lead us all the way back over to where the power is. And if you don't have this achievement yet, for whatever reason, you should have watched my previous video. I mean, come on. Yeah, I, I know. I've for this already. Also, if you kill Snowflake, you're a piece of shit. Uh, yes. Also a piece, but then again, you can't bring Snowflake into the car. What? As far as I'm, uh, yeah. <laughs> Surprisingly enough, I don't think seven people appreciate it when you bring a uh, a tiger into the car with them. Well, so you know. Uh, you know people are assholes. So just to be safe, kill them both. Pick up Lenny. That is survivor number five. And then later on, we're gonna come over to you're gonna get the welcome to the family thing around. Oh, excuse me, around eleven twenty in the a.m. Uh, you're gonna come over to Palisades Mall. You're gonna go to Shank. You have to clear out this uh, this area here. You're gonna see Kenneth and his. Uh, I guess son-in-law Jack with the uh, beautiful Joe helmet. So we're going to do some talking here. It all comes full circle with this game. Yeah. So you're going to pick up Jack, you have to, or Kenneth and Jack. Hopefully you, you don't have Jack. to pick him up. Uh, absolutely not. Well, you have the leadership book too, so for people who have to uh, be picked up, they will actually walk on their own. So this fat fuck all is right. going to walk regardless. So <laughs> that is six and seven. We are making progress here. I give Kenneth some OJ because I kind of... He just downs that whole bottle like... Rawr, like yeah, yeah. Okay, so this is a reshoot because, of course, the hot posh HD PVR decided not to work. But around uh, 2.30, as you saw, the PVR had a stroke there as well. Um, you're going to pick up Kristen. She's the drunken lady. The case is called Luscious Lady. She's all drunk in like the Americana Casino or Slot Ranch, one of them. And you have to, uh, yeah, just pick her up. So this is our crew. This is our eight right here. Going to go all the way out to the Platinum Strip, and we're going to walk all the way to the, um, I forgot what it's called, the Silver Strip, maybe? Near the... Uh, maybe. The, maybe the Hot Exotorama shop. That's whatever you want it to be called, that's what it's called. Yeah, so we're going to take this long fucking walk all fucking the way over shit here. street. You actually do not walk this fast or run this fast in the game. I hate to break it. That's to you. level this fifty-one, is, right? This yeah, this is level fifty-one. When you walk at fucking lock speed. Um, shots of Barre. Forgot to set myself to busy. All right, that's a pretty so, cool guy. Not gonna lie. Yeah. So this is right by the uh, the chapel. 
Also, right across. That's it. Fucking eight way marriage, baby. Right there. Do well, it. Bam. And then we're going to just walk into this uh, clown legal. car with the sweet plumber's crack. Yeah. Get in. You hit the Y button to call them over. And here they come. Here, the gang's all here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Or the, maybe that. eight. I miscounted. That was eight. You should have got the achievement <laughs> yeah. there. But, um, yeah, so you're going to drive around. The achievement will pop there. Well, no, so it didn't. Uh, it was a reshoot. It oh, did. It did for me. You need to fucking you know check Look, your equipment and calibrate uh, that. Shout out to Savvy Boy who wanted to chat. I didn't talk to he him. He wanted to but, know how to get the achievement. Well, there's his achievement right there. Well, bam. Now, how long did that take? Uh, probably like an hour, an hour and a half. A lot of waiting around, waiting for the uh, the cases to show up. I don't want to brag, okay. but I got that achievement in like five seconds. Holy shit, how'd you do that? Um, I joined your game when you had all the survivors already, and then you were like, hey, um, get in the car. And then I got in, and you were like, hey, get all the survivors in the car. And then they all got in, and then I got the achievement, and then I left. You know why I did that? Because I'm a good friend. Well, I'll hook you up. And because like, I was like, I'm going to tell Jeff to yell at you if you don't. Absolutely true. Also, don't send me a message asking to do that because I, uh, <laughs> I saved I saved over the file, so fuck you, it doesn't exist anymore. Yeah, but seriously, send all your messages and requests to Brown Man. 